that's the main thing. We're out, we can make images. Um, whether they're world beating or not, doesn't really matter. We're here, we're at a location. I'm here on Kangaroo Island. Um, this little location is an old jetty that's been shot to death. I'm not gonna be able to do this justice this morning uh, because there's no water around it. Um, there, there are two sort of tides here, a high tide and then a, a lesser tide. And uh, I was hoping the lesser tide would be a little bit further in than this, uh, but it doesn't cover uh, the first two posts, the first two major posts on this little old jetty. So um, those are not in the water, but we're gonna have to do the best we can. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna shoot low, but I've gotta get out there and do something now because the tide is actually receding. So uh, follow me, let's go, and, let's go and see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is just level out this uh, the camera and make sure whoops Daisy not quite there we go and we're going to make sure that our focus point is in the center so that we know that we've at least centralized our camera down the length of this uh, jetty. Well, the jetty remains. Uh, I really need to do a couple of shots, I think. Um, and this doesn't like to focus when we're like this, when it's dark and dreary. So what I always tend to do, and oh, the water's gone out completely now. What a pain. I, I, I'm probably going to come back here tonight, even though it's a reverse sunset. I'll probably come back. It's too bright. I'm going to have to come back tonight and... There we go, we focus nice and easily on that. Just going to lock that focus. We're going to go on to manual. We're in manual. I'm going to go all the way up. Now, just going to check on that histogram to see whether we want four or eight minutes. We're at F11. I'm going to go up to um, F. I think F14 at the moment. That's at eight minutes. There's a lovely glow out there. Um, I think we'll just switch your light off and we'll go with that and see how we see how we go with this first image. Okay, let's, uh, if we can't have the classic shot, let's make our own hay. So, I've got this, these pebbles coming in from the left hand side and then the jetty running out and a nice little boulder here in the uh, stone in the, in the right hand corner just to well, sort of balance that that out a touch so let's uh let's see if we can focus without any additional tricks and that seems to have done the trick i want to see if this boulder itself is and it is it's got that yellow focus peaking on i'm just going to pop up to 
F16 just to make sure we have all that in focus. Uh, we won't be able to do eight minutes. Um, the sky is getting very bright. So I'll probably throw, quickly throw on a grad, but I'm going to go for a, before we do that, I'm just going to go down to ISO 50, which is an artificial uh, ISO because the native is 100, just to make sure we don't clip anything. And we'll go for four minutes, fingers crossed. That should give us um, front to back sharpness. And it will also give us um, a, a beautiful long exposure and hopefully capturing the glow of that uh, early morning twilight glow on the horizon, also on that water. So we can cross our fingers and just, and just hope that works out. So we're nicely set up. We're nicely set up here. What I'm going to do is just make sure that we focus just in on this nearer of the posts. I've adjusted the composition um, because the cloud is pretty poor, well, non-existent. Um, I don't think we need, as we did before a minute, I've gone down to um, 40 seconds. And so to F16. As you can see with the focus peaking, all of those little posts have got a nice little um, uh, ring of, of yellow around them, which means they're in focus. So let's just go 40 seconds to catch that while, while we've got them in water. So I'm using the um, huge post at the beginning just here to anchor the image, which I'm going to fo focus on now. I'll just make sure we are focused properly on that. Check our focus peaking. I think I missed it. I'm not sure what that focused on, but it's just... Yep, now we can see that there's a little yellow halo around that post. I'm just going to just move the focus point and see if any of you... It says they're all, all in focus. We'll give that, we'll give that a go. Um, 15 seconds. We've got beautiful light on the left-hand side and we've got this darkness on the right. Um, but the transition is very pretty across across this scene so I am being swarmed and I think bitten by the odd mosquito yeah definitely been bitten I think a couple of times on my hands and maybe once or twice on my head okay let's have a little look at that yeah we've blown out that um, sky that's okay because we've got the foreground in which is exactly what I wanted so let's just let's just come right down Capture that sky, make sure we've got that detail should we need to paint that back in. Let's double check that. Perfect. So if we need to blend the two, we will. And once again, I'll leave it up to you to judge if we've worked that or not.
go and see what we can do. And I want to make sure that those little jetty pylons are separated, and they are. Nicely. So it looks like we've got two second exposure. So I'm going to take that. Been bitten on the face. Oh, very sore. And that's that's nice. Okay, um, let's do it the other way around so that you can see my face. There you go. Okay. So, um, I'll say goodbye. So thank you for joining me here on this mini adventure. There's no Raffi this morning because I didn't fancy him being wet and muddy and in the car because we've got a bit of a drive to do today. I'm not sure if I said I, I, said I was at um, Kangaroo Islands. That's where we are for a couple of days. So um, yes, a, a smelly wet dog is not something you want hanging about in the car on a, on a warm or hot day. So uh, that's why he's at home having a lie in. Uh, well, all it really leaves me to say is thank you very much for joining me here this morning. Uh, look after your loved ones, look after yourself, and until next time, see ya.